Welcome back. I hope you found that powerful and fun. So our job for this 270 underscore one is to discover our own IP address. How to find the IP address varies depending on which operating system you're on. I wrote three functions, get Linux IP, get OS X IP, which is Mac, and get Windows IP. Let's look down at our main. And once again, the sys library comes through with a sys platform. And this is going to be a string that uh, represents the system. Here I print it out. Mine is Darwin. Apples will all say Darwin. I used this form of this OS in Darwin, comma, in case there, I find other sysplatform reports that have something else in them, but I have not. Then I'm going to call the get OS X IP. If I find a win in there, then it's a Windows. And I will call this one, or Linux, and I call that one. After you get your subprocess and collect your standard out, it's just about parsing. So here I'm going to get output. I wrote a little program so I wouldn't have duplicate code called get output. Some command comes here. I'm going to, with my subprocess p open of that command, and I'm setting up my pipe, and there's my p open object. I am going to read that open object and make a string out of it and return it. And I did not have to give the encoding on this one. Okay, so if it's Linux, then I need to say get output and I, I net adder. That's what I have to say. And it gets a bunch of information. And what I did is I looked at that information and figured out how to parse it. It's all one big text that comes from my get output, so I have to split it on the new line character so I get the lines. Now I look at it one line. I look for the line, in fact, that has inet adder. When I use a find on a string, if I get a minus one, that means I didn't find it at all. Otherwise, my address at will be the index where it's at. So once I get down here, then I had to figure out what to do to get just that address. And it was similar for all of them. It was just a different call to get output, to get the text, and then I had to figure out how to parse it. All that is the call for Windows. Okay, that's it. So now you know how easy it is to fork an exec to make your one program into two programs. I'll see you in the next lab.